Uh, let's go. The early bird gets the worm. The late dad gets a dead son. That's not... That isn't really a good metaphor, is it? I, I didn't even hear it, Snake, I'll be real. I was... <laughs> I was... I got... I was reading the stream rules because I hadn't read, read them. Oh. <laughs> Um, I was asked to modify the wording on rule number two to we're not in Greg's, no racism, but <laughs> I don't know. I just think I dig my simplicity. Even if I'm kind of mixing a couple. Yeah, that's key. Spoilers are a tricky bugger. That's Yeah, it's, I, I think, alright, that's kind of the ruling I put on spoilers is ask, ask first. Um, I guess we'll establish it because we're on the finale. Spoilers are like, again, repeating it. Spoilers are absolutely fine for any point in the Sadness Trilogy. Yes, each, each I think you should set up streams with their own themes, and in this one, it's Sadness. And Sadness does not care about continuity. It is mm. just sad all the time. Did I... Did the saving go haywire? It said goodbye, Lauren. Ah, okay. It just showed Sadness, Cyborg, Drug Cyborg. We just got him kicked off the case, the poor sod. Is he, like, out of the story, basically, now, until the end? Like... Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't know what happens to him, so I can't say yeah, yeah, because, um... I, like, we saw what happened last time. The game was basically making us sign a waiver saying, this is the wrong decision, are you sure you want to make it? So, I do wonder what will become of him. Maybe he's just gonna be dead in a bathroom ODing or something at the ending. We just get an epilogue. That's fucked up, dude. Don't kiss her. Oh, Gross! A Gross! long way away. Gross! That's a long way away. Very disgusting snake. Yeah. Why is it going on forever? Because it's romantic. It's not. Even the music realizes how fucking disgusting it is. The egg-shaped serial killer and the prostitute fell in love. Oh, we're seeing this flashback for, like, no reason. You know, well, it had to be- you had to crowbar it in somewhere. We needed like, uh, the revelation. Well, well, we didn't get there, but this is, a, this is a gameplay section here, so <laughs> I'm gonna add it anyway. Do that little child jog. It's a really crap child jog. It really is, Snake. Hmm. This is a kid who has been put in a mocap suit and is just like thoroughly unsure how he should be running. You can't blame the... him, you can only blame the adults who put him in it. Also the fact that it like shows up right after Shelby goes away, it makes it very obvious that it's Shelby. Mm, <laughs> I feel like, like... Wait, I, I mean there are... What's funny is I'm realizing, cause we, cause we got a certain character killed, have we just removed Shelby's mother from the story entirely? Cause I she, think so. Because she's meant to, like, whisper something in her ear and kind of make you start questioning stuff. Yeah. We kind of cut out a few red herrings by doing this. I love that, We've Snake. We've streamlined the story. I, Unless we're wrong and she comes back into it. I kind of doubt it. I mean, she would, be, she would be in this scene right before this scene happens, right? In the game. Really? Yeah, but, like, this the scene... I think the scene with Madison is supposed to be happening right now, but since it didn't happen, they still want to show fucking Shelby's bro drowning in here. Mm. Oh, also, uh, yeah, they live on a construction site, and the dad's a big old drunk. And Dude. The, the construction site was owned by Gordy Kramer, and that's why he feels all guilty, and he puts I, I, uh, stuff on the grave. I, I love that he's already like... Just give up. He's, he gave up. He, like, uh, uh, accepted his fucking fate in this, like, like, death situation here. Wait, is oh, he already well, dead? Yeah, seeing his dad gave up that bastion of hope and sanity. He went out with a lot of grace for a kid. I would be thrashing and terrified and screaming. I feel like it would feel I'd more fucked up if age. he, like... I, I don't get why he didn't flow away you know i feel like it's more fucked well, up he's, if he's, he's like proper disappeared. stuck he should at least like lean back and just having his body dragged by the current a bit even if he's not going anywhere 
Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, this is the big reveal scene. He's just remembering. It's very ironic. He, he should just cry and cry more. His brother drowned. The reveal scene is unearned. It, it is beautiful. It was like, oh, wait, what? We're just burning <laughs> all the evidence this is we someone's... gathered. Imagine this was someone's first playthrough and they like really sucked at this game and they're like, what? Shelby's a criminal? What? It makes no sense. Thanks. In it goes. Into the fucking garbage. It really does show off that, no, you, the choice really isn't yours. It is actually a game design and it has clear limitations. Hmm. Remember that character? She's gone now. Hopefully she'll come back to kill you, Shelby. Hopefully, if we've played our cards right. It's pro but we probably didn't, and I feel no. like that's also sad. Yeah, no, I feel at this point we can't win, but we can't really lose either. Because we wanted tragedy and sadness of our own design, and now we're just kind of on the roller coaster. The very slow roller coaster. <laughs> But a roller coaster nonetheless. Yeah, it's just a flashback to all the people we've wronged. All the people we've killed. All those children. So it many children. Enough. It wasn't enough. It was like, God damn it. I want to retire, but I want to kill at least five more kids. And Shelby has to wait for the rainy season. Why isn't he just, I don't know rig up some stuff. I just don't get get it, you know? Why I kill children? Why not the dads? <laughs> like, the dad, I mean, the dads were meant to die as well. It was two for the price of one if he pulled, if he played his cards right. The real, the real bullshit of it is, and it's just the one that everyone latches onto, is the fact that he picked Ethan is just bullshit. Okay, yeah, because our spoiler-free policy. Let's just say he sees Ethan diving in front of a car to save his kid. It doesn't work, but you know, that's pretty. That's pretty powerful dad move right there, to just get, make the attempt. And he's like, well, I can't. I can't see if this guy, you know, was that just reflex or would he do it again? Yeah, he well, deserves to have his other child nearly die. This fits in with my modus operandi, my philosophy on the kind of people I go after. I feel like Shelby's just kind of fucking crazy. And his yeah. realization is that, well, it's going to be my final thing. So I guess I'm going to do the thing that started it all and see how <laughs> Ethan 2.0 stacks up to Ethan 1.0. It's kind of unsatisfying though when you have to when your own when the reasoning has to come down to actually he's just fucking nuts. He never actually cared about testing dads. This was just all a whim, which you know, it's likely a fucking way of looking at a serial killer. But it's also just kind of unsatisfying in this kind of narrative to just have it go, actually nah, it was never actually about testing dads. Okay, time to kill off Ethan. <laughs> Not before screaming Sean a bunch of times, though. Trophy named Clever Dad. Oh, no, I know. Well, I need him to come here because part of the strategy with me and Nunu are going is we need people dead at the times we want. And if, and if we do the bad ending, he'll die after the story is ended. And we can't have that. We need him dead right now. Actually, no, wait. Seeing... Okay. Okay. Hmm. What? I'm concerned. I've made a realization about the errors that we've made. Shelby's prob Shelby's probably going to die in this scene. <gasps> That's dope. <laughs> okay, you're fine with that. I wanted I wanted Lauren to kill him, but I've made mistakes. Wait, why? What are you what's the mistake you made? So, the all right, there's ver there's dumb bullshit in this scene. <laughs> As well, there obviously. are in many others. Yeah. But so Shelby comes in, and if any other character is alive and on their way here, he pulls a gun and tries to kill Ethan for no good goddamn reason. However, uh, if if only Ethan is here alive, he instead tells Ethan to kill him. He gives he hands the gun over willingly to Ethan. Yeah, but then how is uh, Ethan gonna die? Um, we can kill him. We can kill okay. him. Okay. 
Okay. I hope. Okay, um, I, I think, I think depending on how this scene plays out, I can do it. I just, I don't know, I'm really happy with the way this, if Ethan does die as well, because I think he walks out to the cops and gets, you know, shot. I'm thinking that's Oh my god, that's goes. beautiful. That's so I, beautiful, Snake. I think, though, we will discover, because if he walks out with a kid, then um, I'm going to be disappointed. At this point, I'm not- No, don't take the kid out! Where are you taking the kid out? Because he needs to survive. No, the kid also needs to die. I don't think- I think this is going to take all the time it needs, to be honest. No, Look, kill yeah, the kid. Jaden- Jaden's going to live. We decided that- well, he might die. We might be overdosed. We don't know how he's going to pan no, out. Don't save him. I'm not going to- I I think this is going to take- yeah, I, I don't think this is going to stop, Nuna. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Fine, I... save the kid. Uh, well, let's just let him be a bit upset for a moment and just try and remember his uh, his first aid lessons. Can you not kill the kid at all? I mean, you can get the kid killed. You can let you can fuck up the scenario in such a way that the kid drowns and Ethan ends but up. But I in wanted prison. that. Oh my goodness. Re, re retry, retry. No, no, don't be a pansy. This is how it goes. Uh, good advice for life. You gotta breathe. Ah, oh, listen to the sad music, Noonan. How's it make you feel? Incredibly sad. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> gonna live. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we made a lot of mistakes in this. It's always good when you can look back on everything you've done and go, I feel Shit, like we made all the wrong choices. These people should have died harder. I feel like in 10 years, we can come back to this game and give it another go. And we've, like, researched every way we can kill off every character. One day we'll come back with a strategy, with the Prima strategy guide, like, okay, how we murdering these chumps this time. Ultra efficient death. Wait, is, she, is he dead? Did he die? Oh, uh, I don't think so. I think it does the fake out before the kid coughs a bit. Yeah, there he is. Oh, David Cage is such a stinker, isn't he? Oh, yeah. The dad thought he was gone, we hoped. Hmm. I probably got everything about this scene wrong, but... Yeah, we lost a lot of people along the way. A lot of people who are just only tangentially related to your kidnapping have died because of this. But the important thing is we've pulled through. Surely that should be like half of the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Did Don't Sean look kid under the fucking bus. like a zombie? I love that he has so much faith in the time of being spot on. Like, exactly an hour and then my head will just explode. I don't know. <laughs> he, like, he's not even, like, he, they don't even take a moment to, like, to catch their breath. Like, he's not even relieved. He's like, well, it's, it's over because <laughs> I'm not dying. How great would it have been if he just said, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, this is amazing. And then it kicked in. It's like, whoops. I am Shelbonator. <laughs> I was sent back in time to find the dad who will save all his sons. And you have saved all your sons. Well, you tried. I, I mean, 50% success rate. That's pretty I love, good. I love how dopey he is. Like, there's <laughs> yeah. like, oh. He's like, he looks exactly like the person who just, like, developed his uh, serial, serial killer plan right there, you know? Mm. Like, he, he's got the physique down, he, like the posture, he is, he's ready to kill some dudes. The thing that concerns me is I just kind of realized looking at that, that he looks a lot like my next door neighbor. Just when he was dressed in, like ex very, very close and now I'm concerned. I mean, Shelby, I don't think your dad really had to sacrifice himself to save your brother. He's just kind of a fucking asshole. <laughs> Like, yeah, you could have developed, like, that could have been against alcoholics or trailer trash. But you latched onto the dad part. To find a have you any idea? 
I think all it's not the fact that he's looking for it. I mean, maybe I'm making this a little bit more interesting for you than you want it to. But like doing this, he wants to see fathers save their children. So he's he wants addicted. To see he's success. he's addicted to that. He puts them in the position to see them succeed. He, it's not for some any moral reason. It's is he literally like there's like a part in his childless mind that gets <laughs> gets happiness or like fucking from that. Well, Noonan, and bang, so bang, he's or gone. No. Uh, kill him. Uh, well, so yeah. <laughs> bye bye. So so he's gone back because all the other dads have been fucking and parents have been fucking miserable, you know. So he's going back to the first one, the one he knows that will do the thing he has to do, even if he didn't save the kid. You know? I mean, that only vaguely makes sense in this ending, where he just kind of doesn't try and kill- But granted, we don't know that he wouldn't have tried, it's just that Ethan drew first. Maybe he just got spooked. He was like- it was like He's like anxious, like, Oh boy, I wrote my whole speech, I hope things go well. They're like, oh, who's that? I'll kill you. <laughs> Can I exit and get shot to death? I wish to do this. Man, my son's gonna be really fucking prone when I'm dead. They're like, not letting you. The ring has salted me. Can you walk a bit faster, please? I realize you've had a rough few days. But Why can't you get out of the ring? I'm. Help me. Snake, help what's me. going on? Help me. Help me. Snake, what's going on? What the actual fuck is going on? I can't get out of the ring. Not He's even trying. From, not even. Get... Not from uh, the other side either. Can you I, go back? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I want no. to exit the ring, please. No, bro. Please. No. Please no. Let me the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> it's an endless circle of hell. I can't save my son. I'm dead. I've fallen into the Origami Killer's ultimate trap. Ah, oh, my life is a video game. Truly, this is the true horror. Shelby, you can't. I guess I just have to restart this scene. He's just an absolute madman. How the fuck? Why? Um, how did I do is this? Is there like a run button? No. <laughs> A uh, jump button? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even access my thoughts right now because my only thought is probably screaming. <laughs> Has this happened to anyone before? Surely this is documented. I have what? never heard of this ring being a snake. Ring. Snake, no one's going to pick up the phone in this house because they're all dead. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. Goodness. That's fucking something. How? Oh, I hope it's saved. <laughs> I think that's the best ending we could have gotten. Maybe we should have just gone to Beyond Two Souls. Yeah, that, what? Well, let's, <laughs> let's go to um, Beyond Two Souls. It's done. It's done. The kid's just looking around like, I can't believe my dad's such a fucking idiot. <laughs> well and truly earned that trophy. <laughs> my father didn't live thank God. Oh, thank goodness. This time I'm wise to your trap, Shelby. I evaded the circle. Can we skip that scene? <laughs> you can't skip lines of dialogue in this game, I'm afraid. Let's look at his dopey physique more. Oh, like I never posture. knew there was a controls menu. That's great. You're a piece of shit, Snake. This is the afterlife. Was that Madison next to Shelby? Maybe. Honestly, they should have had every character in the story just there. It's just somewhere around. Just to make it so on the nose. They were all here. We were all psychically linked at that moment. It was fate that drove us here. Sacrificing himself to save his son. He, <gasps> your dad didn't need to die in that situation. Shelby, 
Shelby looks fucking wasted. He like probably he did like a bunch. He's off of... his tits right now. He's like he did a, he did all his drugs that he wants to do. It's like you know, it's like the end of the world is coming. So let's do all the fucked up things to our body. Because who gives a fuck, you know? And that's like Shelby because he's gonna fucking die. But like in other situations, he doesn't die, and it's just like I guess it's like to give us like one more chance to control Shelby, kind of. Mm. I mean, like the... he does die in the golden ending but he does but he dies in a way where you know it's no one's fault really well actually actually yeah it is <laughs> it's David one of the Cage's endings fault. is you know he falls into a trash compactor or can something he, can you shoot him now or is he gonna talk oh yes now yeah, kill, yeah, kill him yeah. now. off off you go shelby i'm stealing lauren's one don't, service to the store don't even let him like stand and glow just yeah like immediately yeah. <laughs> bye bye Yeah, he's happy about this. He's he's a fucking smog asshole. That's what he is. <laughs> you lost your finger because of me. Now don't fucking get stuck in a fucking circle again. I'll try not to. I'm gonna pick up the kid, walk outside, and hopefully get shot. That's wait. Part don't pick of up the kid. I think you should leave the kid there. But it's <laughs> I'm too late not, now. I'm not risking. I'm not risking leaving the kid. Maybe the kid is the way to escape the circle. All right, yeah, I'm wise to you now, Circle. I am giving you a wide berth. I am here on the safe side of the room. Snick, I want you to go into the circle with the kid. No, I'll just what and just hopefully sacrifice him with some kind of rune. <laughs> well, Good. we're done here. Ah, uh, you. I'm sorry, I didn't bring a pillow. This is your home now. You've earned it. I never want you to leave me alone again, Dad. Too bad I'm gonna die. Off we go. To greener pastures, baby. Oh, this is the last quick time event I get to do in my life. Well, guess I'm gonna go die, bros. Hey, what's up? It's Dad Pranks here. Welcome to, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dad Pranks. My, I just told my son I'll never leave him again. You know what to do. <laughs> hey guys, shoot me. Can I turn the game audio up a little bit? I will try. Hang on, I'm gonna have to deny you a second, Nuna. <laughs> I will try. I apologize. This is dope. <laughs> are you liking the? Are you liking it better? Just looking at my desktop. All right. Uh, full screen project. Everyone just looking at him. He's a fucking asshole. Is the game a bit louder now? Did that uh work? <laughs> I hope it works. Oh, Blake. Damn. He didn't believe That's... in being the origami killer. He's just the dad killer. This is just so fucking dope, dude. What a pansy. Shelfie could take bullets better than you. He just well, died. The last one. He just fucking died. We did it. We, we did it. We got pretty much the most miserable ending for everyone involved. And we don't even know about Drug Cyborg yet. He could be on the way out too. You know what? I'm glad he's not dead because now the kid's seeing this. Dad, you just started your exciting I love career the Jesus as a taxi position. driver. He truly did die for David Cage's sins. God, I feel fucking hollow inside, Snake, you know? There was general relief this morning when the, police announced... <laughs> the poison is the bullet all along. Hey! Mm. I, I love that this guy kind of looks like he'd be in a fucking. It looks like Final Fantasy. Like they have the same kind of like news announcement segment in a Final Fantasy game. He should be re reporting on the Mikado Corporation about their satellites. Really glad. The Origami Killer! Get a fucking bouncer reference past you. 
No, not really. <laughs> Could you get a worse photo of him than that? Who took Dude. that photo of him? Why does he look like that? It's like it's like he just found out his kid is dead. <laughs> so, whoa, he died? Again? Mexico on Monday issued a hurricane warning in preparation for Hurricane Amanda. Powerful category store. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I was trying to ignore it. That's fucked, Snake. We did That's... everything the fucked way. We did it. Um, I, I feel good about this ending. We could have gotten better, but yeah. we didn't do badly I feel like... for the level of prep we did, which was basically... Done. I feel like we could have killed off Aiden in the, like, the garage parking, like, the... Aiden? Dump. dump. Aiden? F F Norman Jaden. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I feel like we could have killed him off. In the, uh, the, uh, trash yard. Because he doesn't really affect anything else. Mm. And also, I feel like we could have been able to kill off Lauren in the thing. Yeah. I don't I know, like... I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, I'm also happy. happy. The I'm also happy. Journalist. She got she got punked in her death. She really did. <laughs> Are we just gonna get what? her in the afterlife now? Just going like, well, I fucked up. Uh. Shit happens. Oh, <laughs> she's a story. Yeah, Maddie's dead. Uh, she died in a red herring. She tried, though. We can just put that in her obituary. Madison Page. She tried. So did they catch the guy? I mean... Did, now I'm just wondering, because they said the origami killer, the origagagami killer, is still at large, does that mean... Does that mean that they didn't put two and two together with the corpse of Scott Shelby being there? Well, obviously they don't have fucking... <laughs> they don't have the evidence. Yeah, we kind of we kind of wrapped it all up. So, did they just imagine that he died trying to stop Ethan Mars and just got shot for his trouble? I wonder if they're gonna give Norman Jaden an actual, like, okay ending that he, like, gets a rest from the Ari system. Well, right now he's quitting the FBI, but they're like, hey, we'll take you back. Maybe? Would you ever think about coming back? What? Oh, I thought it was gonna shoot himself right there. That would have been amazing! <laughs> Damn, that would have been so hardcore. Why? Oh, fine. Good. Make sure the next model doesn't kill people. Holy shit. Don't keep it. Yeah, do yes. the smart thing. Yes. Beautiful. It's just a little too compelling, that wall ball game. So fun. Oh, is he going to death? Whoa, damn. Yeah, wow. Norman Jane pulled Everything... some real shit right here. Apparently, to get, like, an okay ending. Because, like... It's notoriously kind of difficult to get him a nice ending, you know, because he always is going to have issues. But I feel like this is, like, the nicest ending for him, even. <laughs> just right? Cut to him, just cut to him being dead. Just cut to him walking outside the FBI offices, taking one breath, and then just collapsing in a seizure or something. Maybe. If we don't see him again, I'm going to be like, okay, he got out all right somehow, and I messed up. How did she find out? <laughs> She was the only one who put it together. I probably yeah, that's gross, isn't it? <laughs> it's really just it the grossest, right? Yeah. Right, Lauren? It's gross. Poshens, Madison tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it doesn't even matter, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they just do. That's why they give him brain damage. It's not gonna do much spitting on his grave in the rain, Lauren, but hey. You got, got symbolic stuck on gestures. It, on her chin. it all just got like <laughs> stuck on her chin. It's like, fuck it. You win this time, Scott Shelby. <laughs> That's, oh, that's that's heavy rain. 
That's heavy rain, guys. Well, let, we've got some credits, and Just then turn, we'll... turn, Can you turn the audio way down? Yeah. Yeah, turn the audio back down for a moment. Oh, you've yet to see Beyond Two Souls. I hope you can stick around, because we're going to be in on that in a moment. Beyond Two Souls? More like Beyond, beyond Two Balls of Spaghetti. I'm hungry, Snake. <laughs> I could not have guessed from that comment. He's just standing I, there. How can you say a game where Ellen Page tries to kill herself is boring? Well, David Cage finds a way. Because it fucking is. Uh, my goodness. I don't even... I'm trying to think of any final thoughts if replaying this game again has changed my mind much. And I can't say like either way i just i don't like heavy rain very much yeah it's the second it's the second best david cage sadness trilogy entry because they gradually get worse a lot of people consider this one the best because it's not as ridiculous as indigo prophecy it's also easier on the eyes yeah i i prefer fahrenheit because it's stupider we were like we got bored a lot just at the game during this stream, but we never got bored during Indigo Prophecy. Well, okay, no, that's not true, but it didn't last as long. There were just moments where we're like, oh, for fuck's sake, this drags. But when it gets going and ridiculous... Well, this scene never happened. <laughs> this, is, sure did. this is how Shelby saw it going down in his head <laughs> before he that... actually got chased off. That scene is still so beautiful. It's like, uh, honestly, like, True art. That's Kino right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. This music does not suit these credits, I don't feel. It's very dramatic and overblown. Beyond Two Souls is an episodic uh, game series, pretty much. It's just a series of episodes. It's kind of like Scooby-Doo. It's vignettes of... A very boring person's life. A very boring person who has a spirit power. It's Jojo's banal adventure is what it is. Jody's banal adventure? So <laughs> thank, oh, thank you for improving that joke. Yeah, why did I even say Jody? Beyond Two, so All right, Beyond Two Souls is very dumb. It... There is a very, very stupid moment in that story. Well, there's probably more that I'm forgetting, but... I don't know. It just Snake, feels... Uh, BRB. Um, it takes longer. Alright, alright. In fact, I think we should take a break. Like, two, ten, five. Uh, Play you, a video game. Do a... You, you can go ahead. Do a Q&A session. Keep them entertained. So Keep your stream entertained, Snake. Oh, Moon and Bull return. Go go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go do your thing. The biker gang scene is silly. Oh my goodness. You can... I'm not sure how... I'm not sure what our game plan for Beyond Two Souls is because there's less room to maneuver in it than there is in this one. But there is still room to maneuver. There are still choices that don't actually do much but they cut you off from certain things. Um... I said, yeah, there was, there was, uh, nude models of Ellen Page in the game, um, which, uh, yeah, it was a bit dodgy. Very, very a bit fucking dodgy. Just make Jody suffer as much as possible. The game will do that without my help, but let's go with that. The worst possible run. Yep. Okay. You see, here's the thing. I'm gonna spoil a bit of the structure of Beyond Two Souls now, but... Essentially, Beyond Two Souls, it's there are just choices that allow you or cut you off from an ending choice. Because it'll end up at the same point either way. There is one button prompt in the game that if you miss, will kill you and get you a unique ending. One. Everything else is a wash. You can just fuck up. Fuck up all you like. You can't really lose. That one, that one's a trick. Yeah, we'll kill as many people as we can if we get our choices right. And don't go out with the jerk love interest. That's... 
That's a given. I fucking hate that guy. I can't even remember his name. I'll remember it soon enough, and me and Nunan will spend most of the game calling him a shit, because... Wow, David Cage really wants you to love that guy, and he's a fuck. Yeah, just it's just that one prompt. And, um... So you, you can't do a full fail free, but I can't remember exact... It's in the finale segment, so I'll play it safe there. Or we can just get that fucking... We can just get that ending. Go with Navajo Boy. <sighs> Navajo Boy is boring. Uh, Noon doesn't want to do Detroit. I'm figuring I might actually just do it on my own if he doesn't want to join me for that. It might be fun to just do my blind playthrough and just see how it goes, I suppose. We'll see. Uh, that will be a spoiler. F that will be a spoiler-free stream, obviously, unlike this one. I hope David Cage makes an appearance in Detroit as a cyborg. <laughs> Just a cyborg. There's a Cage model cyborg that makes games, and everyone in the game loves him. What about that ending, though? Which ending? The, uh, Kill Jody ending, or the Beyond ending, or the... Which ending are we talking about here? Oh, the apo- Um... David Cage- mm. Okay, yeah, I mean, all of the love interests suck. And also, I think all the endings are apocalypse ending. It's just who's there that changes. Um, I think in, like, the- the homeless people ending, you can get Jody and the little girl there at the same time. And I think in the... I don't, I don't remember all of them. It's just... It just... It varies up. Ellen Page, unrelated to Madison Page, is the protagonist of... Ellen Page is the prota plays the protagonist of um, Beyond Two Souls. And why am I struggling to remember it? We're about to play it. Um, uh, but she plays Jodie Holmes? Jodie Foster? I don't remember her name. <laughs> just just Jodie. I remember Jodie, but not the second name. Who fucking cares about the second name? Hey, wait. Considering the... Considering all things... This is the re-release, right? Do I not have the taxidermist on this? Or do I have to go and download that elsewhere? I don't know how to access it. I've never played the taxidermist. <coughs> ah, sorry, bless me. Oh, yeah, I know that, Mr. Nobody. Actually, was it for pizza or was it for five bucks? I don't remember. It was some something or other. Oh, I remember the casting. I remember being really impressed by that as a giddly wink. Concept Art 6. Golf. Way. Room. That's actually pretty nice. Other room. Yeah, this is where the finger cutting scene happens. That is a really nice bar. It's a shame that's just in fucking the VR shit. You can't deny there were talented folk in these. It's just kind of a shame they were all working for David Cage. <laughs> these are really nice. I really like that. <laughs> it's good, sorry, my very bland art review is like, damn, I like that. That has so much more atmosphere than anything in the game. <laughs> what kind of dumb twist do you think will be in Detroit? Uh, what about, yeah, what about the apocalypse has already happened and everyone's, everyone's just robots. I'm just stealing off something from binary domain here. All the humans were also robots. And they somehow never realized it. 
But they find out, they find out how that souls actually exist and how to quantify it, and the cyborgs do, but the humans don't. So it was all just a lost, uh, just an endeavor of loss. Man, I've been sitting on this image for a while. That's fucking dope, though. I really like that. Hmm. Ooh, it's a very slow pan on this one. Club. 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 That's how my head feels right now. Paco's office. Yeah, we just... I just... My brain flashed back to that for some reason, looking at Paco's office. But yeah, we just cut out the entire subplot about... Fucking, um... Shelby's mum. So, that's something. I don't know. It's also kind of fucking with me that they're panning right, right to left. You lose 20 kilos when you die and that's the soul. <laughs> Will it be a human or robot female character to get sexually assaulted? I think nothing saying Cage can't double dip. I mean, what about, not just the victim, but what about the perpetrator? They are ro- no, of course it's not going to be a robot. The robots- Alright, if- I haven't watched the trailers, so I've only seen the bare minimum. I've seen, like, you know, the original. I've got- I've said this a bunch, but- Is there going to be any cyborg in there who's going to be a bastard? Or are they all going to be fucking noble souls? Because that would be the fucking disappointment. I don't know why I could... Alright, I've got an embarrassing thing because I just did not pay much attention to myself when I was re writing the Remembering Heavy Rain thing. I said, his weed then. And that wasn't... I was just such a fucking moron that I, I regret writing it that way because it's a dumb joke besides him. It's like, it's obviously Orchids. It was just... A weed joke isn't really my kind of jam anyway. But yeah, I just remembered because of seeing that. We didn't... And that's the thing. We That's another big regret. We missed Radiate... <laughs> radiate. We missed the Fridge Death because of our actions. That's the real big regret. I know one is about racial segregation thus, but robots. I did hear about that one. Dithyram. Um. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be fun. David Cage is gonna be very on the nose of his racial allegories. What more could we expect? <laughs> we didn't see that. I like this as well. Oh my goodness. Because that is the uh, ending fight scene we get if Nam and Jaden turns up. Um, Actually, there's a few things. I think it's both Norm and Jaden and uh, Madison Page have to turn up. And in that case, we get a big dumb conveyor belt fight finale and it's fucking hilarious. It's just a very fun scene to watch because of just how ridiculous it is. And how Shelby gets taken out is really something. What was some no no budget visual novel? I'll scroll up. Oh. Hmm. Didn't even see that. Wow. That's a nice image. Oh, that's a fucking nice image. Oh, that's proper fucking lovely. Yeah, I'm about that. Oh, these VR rooms are actually genuinely more interesting to look at with these concessions to re not to reality, but concessions to try to make them make sense. Like, oh, you're on Mars, so you're in a bubble. I don't know, the computer looks a bit more sensible as well, but what's with the typewriter? Yeah, that's kind of nice. That is a nice image. Shame it's attached to Heavy Rain. Let's look at the trophies we got. Uh, why am I thinking this would be interesting? Oh, sicken me. Fucking jam a spoon down my throat. Thank you for supporting interactive drama. 
<laughs> oh, I hope in this I've done the opposite. Oh, my goodness. My goodness me. Ugh. sitting awkwardly for a little bit. Drama. Drama. Man. Moon's been gone for a bit now. I think he's taking a really long break. If he's outside eating cake again, oh, I'm not, I would not be happy with that. Detroit is a future town, but it's a future town in the sense that it's apocalyptic. From what I hear, that's kind of just modern Detroit. Cross gear video games. Uh, thank you for sticking with me while I just sit around on menus, by the way, while I wait to actually start the next game. Because, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, I believe that Beyond Two Souls does have a menu, correct? Because I, I put this game in and it booted right into gameplay. It wasn't until I launched it for the second time I got a menu, and I don't want to have that experience again. I'm a very basic person when it comes to cake. I just like a chocolate cake. A very basic cake person. Don't have many cakes, actually. Uh... Ellen Page does do a fine job playing a very boring character. <laughs> And Willem Dafoe is fun. I I just, I see Willem Dafoe in something and I get happier. It's just, I don't know, it's just an instinctual reaction. Like, but Willem Dafoe is just jam and cake, yes, no? Um, depends on the cake, really. I mean, I'm not against it, like, in principle. I've had good cakes that had jam in them. My, ca my cake answer there has to be nuanced by an if, an if and scenario. You can't just jam it. You can't just jam, just jam into any, jam, jam into anything. I do think there is, this is, I don't thoroughly agree with what I'm about to say, but I'm kind of throwing it out there, is I think there is some merit in trying to remove all game overs, but because there is, because but this is more in the concept of failing forwards in that the story should make you lose something going forwards if you fail even if it's going to keep trucking along and not like hardline game over go back and do it again which is a more interesting way of doing it but if you game over but make the player actually lose something along the way get little cuts and even if it's just a little cut and graze is kind of show effects of something going on now obviously it can't happen for everything and heavy rain does have a little bit of that because obviously there is that was the more interesting take. That's actually what kind of Heavy Rain tried to do and did it very jankily and half-heartedly is you can fail, but the story will keep trying to plug its holes and go on. We just lost a bunch of stuff in the process. Game overs do take away from horror. I'm not saying take game overs out of everything. I think there are very few elements that I would say this is always terrible. Obviously, I'm going to probably get a bunch of people saying this will always fail. and Maybe. We'll see what comes up with. But it obviously depends on the game. There's... Depends on what you're doing with them. If a horror game doesn't have game overs, yeah, that can you can lose a lot with that. Uh, the 25th is the release date of Detroit, I believe. Oh, yes, I played Until Dawn. Um, I, I think I lost two or three people in it. It's been a while since I played Until Dawn. It's, um, I don't know if I'd want to replay it. I Alright, so... I haven't played I haven't played much Telltale. I've played um played Walking Dead, obviously. I played a bit of Wolf Among Us. Um I played all three seasons of Walking Dead, not season three to completion mind. And uh, Minecraft Story Mode, which I wanna do some videos on Minecraft Story Mode at a later date, because beyond the surface level jokes of this is fucking garbage, which it is, it's fascinating in the ways it's garbage. It's fascinating how it misunderstands what it should be doing with Minecraft. <laughs> You know, it's just, it's something you should throw on for kids. Ah, my goodness. But, uh, 
what am I trying to say? Yeah, sorry, I lost my thread for a moment, just... <laughs> I diverted onto Minecraft story mode. And essentially, and also to the people who joined, I'm waiting on Noom to get back, and then we will be on to Beyond Two Souls. We're not just sitting on a menu for nothing. But... They are games that you should only ever play through once. And I played through each episode of The Walking Dead seasons 1 and 2 and half of 3 twice each. Because that's how we did playthroughs on them on commentary cons. I did an extra shit run where I, I saw how much I could divert from the path. And really, the way those games handled... And I heard Batman Season 2 has handled it well. But I can't comment on that personally. Um, Also, Lonely Robot. Not to my knowledge. Maybe. Maybe out there and I haven't seen it. Um, but... Mm. You just see that you can't really push that far out in them. You're very, very on the rails, and Walking Dead Season 2 is an absolute fucking garbage fire for that. It's just... And playing through them... There are get they are games at the moment you realize how the illusion works, which kind of really doesn't... They're just kind of ruined forever, because you see... Like, a character's in a situation where they'll either die or they won't, depending on what you choose. And at that point, you know they're dead either way. You're just kind of delaying it. And there is a character in Walking Dead Season 3, and I'm just impressed because they can die three episodes in a row, but you can save them each time, and they'll make it to the end. And, I was, and it, my standards for them were so, are so low, I was just kind of like, well, well done, Telltale. You, you did something, even if that character affects nothing and has, I think, like two or three lines. Per episode. Oh my god, I'm leaning back in my chair. My chair is very creaky. I've got to get a new one again. The only issue is, like, I'm not going to deny Batman might be one of their better games. I'm uh, not into Batman, though, so I kind of got a barrier to entry on that one. I think video ga- uh, I'm just on this- this is my kind of position on, you know, walking sims. They have every right to exist. I don't really care about the kind of classification like, is this a game, isn't this a game? It's like, it's fine. It's a meth- there are methods in video games that can tell stories in unique ways. And they should be allowed to exist, be in their own crowd. They're not going to damage games that are more in-depth, games that have action in them. You know, I'm- <laughs> my favourite kind of games are big punchy ones. So- you know, but those will always exist. There will always be people catering to that niche. It's too big at this point. Yeah, C Cage isn't capable of subtlety, and sometimes it's fine to throw subtlety out the window and say, "No, damn it, this is the point." But C Cage can't do can't, Cage can't do anything well. I did have a problem with um, Wolf Among Us, though, and it's just... It's something that happened at the end of Walking Dead Season 1 as well, and it's something that I just really, I really despise, this design decision, and I'm glad I think they moved away from it. I didn't see it in my... Hello book. there. Oh. Noonan left, so you jumped in, haven't you, sweet? No, Noonan told me to get in. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello, how you doing, sweet? How are you today? Uh, I just started my computer. Had a swim today, which was nice. Otherwise, fine. You started uh, your internship the other day, didn't you? Yes. Nice. Are you streaming right now? Yeah. Yeah, you're live. <laughs> oh, man, I'm live. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, Ma? It's a good thing you realized that before you said something really offensive. Well, you'll see. My anime opinions. <laughs> No, okay, no, that's worse than anything else you could say. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, not an anime discussion. I had one of those while fucking drunk. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the Emotion stream. We'll be back on Emotion soon with Beyond Two Souls. You didn't tell me to play a game while we wait, but I was like, what, what, uh, what am I doing here? So you finished uh, the Heavy Rain. Yeah, I didn't I... see it. Did everyone die? 
Um, one of them lived. An unlikely survivor from it. FBI guy. Norman Jaden. I'm not qualified to have manga discussions. I'm not. I'm not that tier. I'm just. Yeah, yeah. Please. All right. Actually, yeah. Come on. Let's get off of that. Aye, aye, aye. This is a fun stream. We're here to make fun of uh, um, Gaby Cage. Also, you know something I just realized? Something awful. It was just basically a shower thought, but I had it when I was uh, ironing shirts and shit. Mm. I... Gaby Cage kind of looks like Josh Wheaton and both make bad movies with horrible dialogue. Hang on a second. I'm going to set home for a moment. Oh. Just uh, I have no. also who died. Only drug cyborg survived. That's it. Only Norman Jaden. Only Norman Jaden pulled through. He was the only one. I mean, since someone decided. Snake, to look at pictures of both. Look at David Cage. Look at Josh Whedon. They're basically the same. They're white bald dudes. That's it. That's all you need, white bald dude. I mean, they also make bad movies with bad dialogue. And they basically only make the same thing over and over again. Damn. I don't know, David Cage has been, like, bad in different... Well, no, no, no. I have to backpedal on that one immediately. He's been bad in pretty consistent ways, just with different theming. And, and also, you don't want either of them go to come near female actresses. Hmm... Hmm. Well, I was trying to find a video, a video I, for us. I don't know. Watch. This David Cage for Fedora. <laughs> Let's not go down this rabbit hole. No, I'm just curious because I see a picture with the with the Josh Whedon with one. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. <sighs> hanging out with my family. I saw the Rift Track live on Birdemic the other day. I guess that song. Really just go on and on. My dad is a white ball dude, is he, Joss Whedon? Yeah, but, you know... <laughs> Fuck you! No, no, well, I was gonna say, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't make bad movies, so... Hmm, not yet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, oh boy, goodness. here we go, the politician, the politics. I'm gonna try and put an end to the politics. You're shutting it down. Am I gonna even try and do the fight QTs and beyond, since you win either way? Uh, we'll see, we'll see how we feel. Oh yeah. I kind of, I, every time I played beyond, I failed through it, because you can't lose, so... Maybe it'll be different if I won the fights, to be quite honest. We're not banning anyone. No, no, just... no. Snake, yes, just, I just, I just kind of want to keep these streams lighthearted and civil. I don't want any, like, you know, I kind of want to keep politics away from this. I don't care who comes and watches it, you know, but I want here to have fun, you know. Good vibes, good vibes, anime tits. That's what we're here for. So a comment. You know, we're, we're, we're here. That. We're just here as, for hanging as out. As long as we won't get banned from, as long as we won't get banned from YouTube. That reminds me, I forgot to edit uh, the stream vlog, the stream vods to just. To censor the tits, but I would have only done that to make it funnier, and I couldn't really. Unless I was just going to put Luke's Kane's face on them again. We're, do we're shutting it down. We're crashing this uh, this plane, this discussion. Alright, can I can I make this full screen? Oh yeah, I have a clicky-clacky keyboard. Does that even come uh, that's, for yeah, Try not to click and clack, you mechanical keyboard fucker. I've just got a cheap thing, so try, it makes less noise. Hey, hey. It's not my fault the mechanical keyboards are nice. They're nice and clicky. You should try one. How do you guys like homemade anime? Oh. Oh my god, not the ninja! It's the ninja! <laughs> I haven't watched this. <laughs> Let's be reminded that this has like 35 plus episodes, and in season two they become 20 minutes plus. I'm never going to be able to watch this the whole way At least the people who made it had fun. Well, not so, my friends. 
David Cage probably wishes he could emulate Nekapara on the regular. God, now I remember Lime gifting me it. It's still in my fucking inventory. I could sell it for some reason. I've never actually added it to my library. I've just realized... I, I still can't get over the fucking cardboard knife covered with aluminium. It's really good. I know, Jeez. though. It's great. Have I seen what now? Have you seen Blood that? Raining Night? I have not seen Blood Raining Night. I have not been keeping up with anime lately. I don't. I barely watch anime. I haven't even started watching fucking My Hero Academia this season yet. Oh, I did watch the first few episodes of um, Megalobox, and it's really good. It's really good. I like it. I like punching, though. <laughs> the new Naruto movie looks good. <laughs> Oh god, it is real. I like... love this. I love that look to camera. <laughs> Honestly, I jam shit like this. It's I just it's terrible. But I watch this and I'm just like, oh, they're having fun. I love it. It's so bad. But... I I just realized that one of the kids have like what's what's that called? A typical fucking Scottish hat. <laughs> With, uh... I mean that's the that's the Scottish character who probably talks in a really thick accent. Hey. Yes, lonely lo robot. That is, in fact, a girl. God. They've. Oh, by the way, they've been doing videos like this since I believe 2011. They're still like the last upload was, I believe, three months ago. They're still at it. These people deserve. I don't even care about the quality of it. They deserve. They deserve good shit for just trying for so long. Yes, go and subscribe to them. Watch their videos. Like and subscribe. I'll have to. I mean, there's the video title is the, the Ninja Episode 1, Dine's Life for a Ninja. Now, just, now I hear Ninja, I just think of fucking Miami, my, bleh, Miami Connection and just, oh my god, that's an amazing movie. You, We had to legit watch it, Snake, because trust me, it's amazing mm, in a mm. good way. But it has a great song that's the lyrics are literally just against the ninja. We're gonna fight the evil forces of the ninja. It's. And I'm gonna do it with the power of Taekwondo. So it kind of gets boring at this point. I mean, fucking surprise, surprise. But the next. The next three minutes of just him wandering around a house. Well, Snake, your shit has taken the... skipped the political discussion and taken it to the, well, logical extreme. Oh. <laughs> Lollies. It's not... Charcoal. Must be I mean, either that or someone's having a barbecue. Hmm. A really shit ninja. <laughs> Better ninja than you. Yeah, yeah true. Quiet. Show I yourself. I don't really. I can't really pull off the headband. I mean, neither can he. But you yeah, know. Tough customer, huh? Yeah, you and your affinity for charcoal. <laughs> so when I get to you, it's scarf. I will have to grab a link to this. Is my mic clipping, or is that on the video? I don't know, I can't no, listen. I'm asking the chat. And a touch activated lab? Where did... Where did no one go anyways? House. I don't know, he took, he's taken his sweet time though. Probably just went down to town. Oh, he's currently <laughs> just... He started walking away from his house and has not stopped. And that's my dad's dart trophy. Damn, my ninja eyes need time to focus. Ah, the ninja. Oh yeah, Miami connection. They have the okay. here's the best part, though, Snake. There's the Miami ninja, who's also a fucking biker gang. Can we watch Parking Lot Kingdom Hearts next? Sure, I'll go and drag that up, and oh, I'll post yeah. a link to this video in chat. 
I wonder if that will flag it as spam. I don't know. I'm the I'm the guy in charge. It might, it might not. <laughs> Free kunai. Okay. Actually, wait. Hmm, I've missed You've this. You've been watching the ninja. All right, I'm gonna grab a link to the ninja and whack that. Whack that in the stream. Yep. There's the. There's episode one of the ninja. Go send them good vibes. Don't do any shit to them. <laughs> We're still Don't here. Be mean. We're like still that. here. That's so oddly poetic with just the way he's looking down too. We're still here, just to suffer. I'm gonna check if there's any word from Noonan real quick. <laughs> well, he's currently away. I currently got a message from him. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Is he just seeking a way to get out of doing Beyond? Because if he says, hey, just... Because he just said fill in. He hasn't el he hasn't elucidated continue, not continue. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Is Beyond really that bad? It's, um... Uh... I mean, it's not going to cause physical pain. It's just boring. <laughs> I'm going to actually... I'm going to WhatsApp the motherfucker and just like, hey... What's going get, on here? Get over here. <laughs> I apologize to everyone for taking so long, but I'll pull up I'll pull up Kingdom Hearts. Hmm. <laughs> I believe this is the one. The ultimate battle unfolds again. I am <laughs> How long have you been looking at the we're still here? We're still here. We're still fucking here. That sounds like a movie title. Oh no, it sounds like a fucking Neil Breen movie title. Ah, oh, you're right. We're still here, a Neil it, Breen piece. It, it, a Neil it, Breen joint. It needs more ellipses. We're still you know, here. We're I'm probably gonna. I don't know how much this is gonna throw people who watch me that often, but I have uh, genuinely never. I've genuinely just never played Kingdom Hearts. I watched the intro of Kingdom Hearts 2 when a mate played it. I'm like, wow, that was a fucking intro. I'll tell you that. Fucking long ass intro. You're nobody! I have never played it. Oh my god, this I is this is reenacting uh, fucking I King Hearts 2. <laughs> I hate, <laughs> I hate, I hate Fill me in, like how accurate is this scene, Swede? You know your Kingdom Hearts. Well, King Hearts 2, you have fucking two, a, a cocky kid being like me here, and then you have a fucking bunch of kids hitting each other with like these kinds of bats for like an hour or two. For these kind of bats? I heard they were like keys. Oh no no no! You see, it's King of Hearts too. It's a tutorial thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, it has like a prologue thing before the actual game. Oh, he stabbed him in the ass. But yeah, oh. no actual Kingdom Hearts. They use big fucking keys. They like barely looks like keys. I've never liked the design of the Keyblade. It always just looked awkward to hold. You know. Oh, I see what you mean with the that. guard like that. Yeah. It's a very, very minor point to not be okay with. But... Oh, yeah, no. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's see now if I can. There we go. Oh, my God. Of course the Kingdom Hearts game don't call them foam bats. They call them st struggle bats. <laughs> That's cool. And, oh, yeah. And, like... Now remember the first the game King of Hearts two. This starts like the first one, so you end up in you know this black area where you have when you get to pick sh shit there, yeah. but you can either get a struggle sword, 
a struggle hammer, which does not look like a fucking hammer, or a wand. And it's... Just... There you go. If you scroll down, you'll see. Sadly, there's not a shield. Sadly, no shield. I mean, yeah. Would have been awesome to just... just... <laughs> But yeah, you can pick have a ever one. Seen, have we ever seen LARPing in the Kingdom Hearts verse? Has that ever has that ever come to pass? I mean, not really. I mean, eh, technically the Organization 13 is that, if anyone cares about spoilers. Basically the big bad guy doing a bunch of shit, but basically he's formed a club that he planned to make everyone else in the club him. Like, just him. Everyone's mm. gonna be a Saiyan or <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. It's yeah, no, that basically to organize Kingdom Hearts, either they are they are Saiyan or they they are Sora. That's basically how it is. Is this just like some kind of Myers Briggs personality test? They just fill in a chart, or is it just decided? No, no, no. He literally put he literally puts part of his heart into them. Literally, literally. Like you no, know, I mean it still sounds better than David Cage. Like. Heart, as in, it's a metaphorical thing. But yeah, he just so it's a the... literal metaphorical heart. Yeah, yeah. It's ki ki hearts are. A thing is it in their? Is it their kokoro? Is it their? Is it that? I'm not going to say that word twice. It's akin to no. It's not a soul because the soul actually is a thing. It's King Hearts is dumb. <laughs> it's like imagine Kojima writing, but like being into Disney and really extra weeby. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> David Cage for Smash Brothers. <laughs> oh, I'm down for that. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. King of Hot uh. I know they're, they're gonna have Big Hero 6, mostly because even though Big Hero 6 was based on a shitty Marvel comic, it's, it, it's a Disney movie. Right. Don't talk shit, but I mean, Kojima isn't exactly the most. I mean, you tread, you're treading on thin ice here, sweet. He's not a bad writer, but you know, <laughs> you know, Take he didn't words. really want to make you more than two. And shit. he tried to make his exit repeatedly. Yeah, and you um, know. and then in four, he wrote in the most "we're done here" style of writing he could have possibly yeah. done, and then still there was more. Yeah, but honestly, King. Honestly, his writing isn't that bad. It's not that bad, uh, as some people would say. Kojima's writing is at least fun to watch played out. Yeah. Regardless of any other quality, I enjoy watching... I enjoy watching what Kojima puts down. Oh yeah, you know, it's interesting. But I'm just gonna say, oh god, are people gonna be disappointed with Death Standing? You can't say that. We don't know yet. We do, like I, I there's been feeling. several years on. We don't know much yet, and not even people listening to Kojima are on what the sure the guy's fucking on about. I'm I'm curious. I'm really curious, but I'm not gonna. I'm curious to see what it is, but I think a lot of people are gonna overhype it. Something fierce. Mm. I think I don't know. Most of the people I see are just they're on the same wavelength as you as they're just playing cautious with their with their hype, especially after MGSV. Hmm. Good gameplay, but not quite what most people wanted out of a Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I know. <sighs> and yeah, the game wasn't finished. I'm <laughs> caught, I would probably fit in the camp, yeah, just I'm being cautious about it. I'm like, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I try not to get hyped about things nowadays, and not in like a sad, pessimistic about everything way, but in a just, you know, like, we'll see when we see sort of way. Yeah. I, still... I don't want to judge too much until I've got the thing in my hands. Yeah. I still think Death Standing is literally just his excuse to just basically make him uh, just a boys club with all the people, all the famous people he like. Oh, also, yeah, Zone of the Enders... Zone of the Enders free never. Oh, we got we got Zoe two coming to Steam and apparently it has VR support and I am terrified and intrigued. Yeah. By that well, notion. I should say, Ko Kojima isn't that big of a like influence on the Zone of the Enders. I forget the actual guy's name. It's just that Kojima Productions made it, but Kojima asked 
it doesn't actually have that much input on some of the enders. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think. Should I? Should I? Noonim isn't responding. I think I might just run a game of something else in the meanwhile because he's been taking his sweet ass time, and I'm a little bit worried at this point. Oh, wait, hang on, message. He said he'd be around. Asshole. Oh, Hello. Okay. Hey. Hey. We were just sat asked, here talking about Kingdom things. Hearts. I wasn't sure how long. You just said, "Hey, sweet, dive in here." What the hell? Thank you, phone. What the fuck are you doing? This is really dope. <laughs> My phone just said, started giving me instructions. <laughs> like, hey, I don't want voice activation. Go away. <laughs> oh, I'm glad gosh. that we got you. We got the big sixty here. Hey, sweet. Do you want to stick around for the beginning of Beyond? Do you want to see what the hype's <laughs> hype? Do you want to see what the anti-hype's about? Sure, I can. All right, yeah. Can... You two chat. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go just wow. switch the disc into PS4. Sweet, I'm eating right oh, now. Watch your eating. I made a fucking soft wrap taco. I think. I don't know. I don't know food. Hmm. I'm taco. I uh, I like my tacos like I like my men. Well, um, I don't know how soft. soft. I see. I stole that joke from someone. I sure did. I heard that lighter. Are you playing with matches? No. What's there's like? Oh, it might be my mouse wheel. This is a lighter. It's telling me, despite the fact that I have several hundred gigabytes Ooh. free, that I need to delete stuff. Well, delete That's... stuff. I guess David, I Cage need the... David Cage needs the whole PlayStation. I'm memory. Genuinely concerned because it also says PS4 format disc. I mean, PS4 formats disc, not a format Just get rid of heavy rain since we're done with it. Yeah. 34 gigabytes. Oh boy. Shoot yeah. boy. Bye bye you, my friend. It's all it's all to render out those fucking vistas that Beyond Two Souls <laughs> has. <laughs> those big, gorgeous vistas. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they are gorgeous. Yeah? They are gorgeous, you know, when I look at them, I feel sad. I'm like, Man, I wish <laughs> this was in a better game. Oh, yeah. Phantom Pain does have a pointless whole world. You can approach oh, it's from bit. any angle. So I, got... I mean, po most the biggest reason why it's pointless is because the game is unfinished. Oh, Shoot. damn it. I'm really annoyed. Heavy Rain didn't need to do any prep. No. Yeah. Well, sweet, sweet, sweet. sweet. I so I got MGS5, the, and it was the first day edition. I bought it on release day. And the oh. only thing it came with really, was, you know, a fucking poster. And the, and the poster is dumb because it's just a map of Afghanistan. It's like Amazing. the MG5 iteration of the Afghanistan map. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it up and play MGS5 with it? Nah, I'm not I'm that much of a fucking nerd. You're going to put it up on your room wall and just next to your other posters. Hashtag gaming. 